Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So, on my first office hours uh, live stream, we talked about this problem, which is to prove that Kruskal's MST algorithm is correct. So, this is a little bit of a different video that we've done before, where instead of talking about the theory of computation, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the theory of algorithms here. So, what does MST stand for? So it stands for the minimum spanning tree. So what in the world is this, you may ask, if you've never heard of that term before. So let's say that we have a graph here. And by graph, I mean vertices, which are these points. So vertices. Um, yeah, so the vertices are the points. And the lines that are connecting them are edges. And on each edge, in this case, we're going to have a particular weight. So let's just say this one has weight 10, this one has weight 5, and we can have a more complicated network of vertices and edges like this. And, and let's just put a edge weight on each one of them. So let's just say 1, maybe this one's 0, we're really lucky with that one. Maybe this one's 3, this one's 17. This one is 15, this one is 14, this one is 11. I think I got everyone, yep. So the question is, well, what is this tree thing? So a tree is a graph without cycles. So we can see here that in this graph, well, if I go from this vertex over to here, down to here, and then back, then I'll end up at the same vertex, and I never repeated a vertex along the way. So that's a, what a tree is, is something without cycles. So if I have something like this, then it's not a tree in here. Um, and so clearly this is not a tree. Um, spanning, what does spanning mean? So spanning is just includes all, ed, uh, includes all vertices includes all vertices. So if I wanted to find a spanning tree, what I would need to do is just to pick a set of edges in this graph. For example, I could pick that one, I could pick that one, this one, this one, and this one. And I've connected every vertex with every other vertex. So it has to be a connected graph which means that every vertex can get to every other one. So like from here, I can get all the way to over here just by following a set of edges. Well, the red edges here don't have a cycle. So that means that it's a tree. It has every vertex, so therefore it's a spanning tree. So then finally, what is the minimum word? This means minimum weight. So the weight of this tree is the sum of the weights of the edges I picked. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 17 plus 11. So the weight here is going to be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 11 plus 17, which happens to be, let's see if I can do this in my head, 37. So the question is, can I find a minimum spanning tree uh, without uh, without having a spanning tree of smaller weight. I want to find a spanning tree with minimum weight. There could be multiple of them, but uh, clearly, for example, if I chose this edge right here, the one with weight 0, that would have been better than choosing the edge of weight 1 or the edge of weight 3. So what is Kruskal's algorithm? So here's the algorithm. Is What we're going to do is we're going to repeatedly select any edge of minimum weight such that one is not already selected. There's no point in picking an edge you already picked. And two does not create a cycle. So in this particular graph, let's just uh, see what th such an algorithm would give us. So I have not proven that it is correct, but uh, it's certainly an algorithm and it will give us a spanning tree because why? Well, we're always picking an edge of some weight 
it doesn't really matter which one, just to get a spanning tree out of it. Well, we're never going to create a cycle, so we'll never pick an edge that will create a cycle. And then at some point, we will have run out of edges to select, which means that we have um, we've connected the graph. So therefore, it's a tree because there's no cycle and spanning because if there was an ed if there was some vertex left out, well, there are some edges attached to it, which means we should have selected one of them. So in this case, well, which edges will we select? Well, let's just pick one, any edge of minimum weight. Well, the one that we haven't picked so far of minimum weight is weight zero. So let's pick that edge, i.e. it's the first edge that we pick. So now we just got to pick any edge that will not create a cycle in the, in the red edges that we select. So among the other edges over here, well, the one of minimum weight is this one right here. It doesn't create a cycle so far. So we're going to pick that one. The next one of minimum weight is this one of weight three. But if we picked it, it would create a cycle among these three vertices. So the, and then the next one um, of minimum weight that we're allowed to pick is this one of weight five. So we pick that one. Then the next one of minimum weight is 10, but if we pick that, it would create a four cycle. So four cycle just means of four vertices. And so we can't pick that edge of weight 10. Actually, what I should do is let's put a blue line uh, for the edges that we have considered but can't select because it would create a cycle. So then the next one of minimum weight is that won't create a cycle. Oops. I should not do this in blue, I should do this in red. So the next one is 11, it will not create a cycle. The next one is 14, it won't create a cycle. And every single other edge will create a cycle. So I can put a blue line for every other uh, edge. So what is the weight of this one? So before we had 37 for just some random edges that I picked, well, here we have 0 plus 1 plus 5 plus 11 plus 14, which in this case, if I did the math right, is 31, which is obviously smaller than 37. So the question is, well, this clearly gives us a spanning tree of some weight. Well, could it possibly be that we get a smaller tree, uh, I mean, uh, a tree of smaller weight than this one? And it's what will show is that it's impossible. So why is Kruskal's algorithm correct? Well, so here's the reason. So let's visual, let's think of these n vertices. Let's say there are n vertices in the graph as little islands. So I'm going to draw a little dotted line around each of the vertices to start with. And so each island has exactly one vertex in it. And of course, there may be edges that go in between uh, two uh, vertices. So nothing special here. These are just the edges of the graph, nothing special. So what does Kruskal's algorithm say? Well, here currently we have a bunch of islands which are just single vertices. And Kruskal's algorithm says pick the edge of smallest weight. And we, we and in general, it could be that we have multiple vertices within an island and multiple edges in between, but at the start we don't. So let's just say, for instance, that this edge is the one of minimum weight. Then what we're going to do is so Kruskal's algorithm doesn't actually do this, but this is a way to think about what Kruskal's algorithm is really doing. What we're going to do is we're going to merge these two islands together. So now I have these two vertices in a single island together. And why are we doing this? So we can think of, well, we've now connected these two islands together. So by doing this, we're ensuring that whatever we had in one island can reach anything in the other island. And 
by induction, what will happen is that each island, so to speak, will always contain a tree. And why is this? So, th so this is something that I can complain. So here's a claim. It will always contain a tree. Why is that? Well, a single vertex at the beginning always is a tree. So a tree of one vertex and no edges, that's a tree. But suppose by induction that we have uh, two, um, uh, two islands here, and each of them is a tree. So maybe it's something like this. And of course, when we're going to be selecting an edge between them, well, the, the only, if they just sit here like this, they're obviously going to still be trees. But the only thing that could happen is that we select an edge between two islands and merge the two islands together. So let's just say that we have a bunch of edges here that go between the two uh, sets, uh, the two islands. Well, then let's just say that we happen to pick this one. Well, by merging the islands together after we pick that one edge, we will have a tree. Because if I picked two edges that will go across from one island to another, then you can actually show that you will not have a tree. Because if you look at this vertex over here and then travel along the one edge over here, well, if there were two edges that crossed, just go from this vertex over to the other one and then cross the boundary over here. So therefore, and then from that point, you go back to the original one because it's a tree. So we should always be connecting two islands with one edge. And the one that we always select is the one of minimum weight. So it will always contain a tree. And at the very end, because we're always picking the edge of smallest weight, we will always get a minimum spanning tree at the end. But now, of course, it could be that we have multiple edges of the same weight. So maybe, for example, we could have picked this edge right here because it happened to have exactly the same weight as this blue edge right here. That's not a problem because we just care about the weight of the tree. We don't care about what the structure of the tree is. So let's actually visualize this in happening in real time. So actually, I'm just going to... Uh, copy this uh, this graph that we have here so that we can see this uh, result in action. So there are some things to clean up obviously. And let's just make sure to clean this up so that we have exactly the same graph that we had before. So I think this one was weight 10, and we had this, this, and this, I think. Let's just be sure. Yep, so that was weight 17. And I claim that by doing this, that we never have to uh, care about whether we're creating a cycle. So remember, we were worried about creating a cycle at each point. I claim we don't need to worry about that. Why is that? Because each island will always have a tree. And when you're combining two trees together with one edge, you will never create a cycle. So let's just see this in action. So as before, I'm going to create a little island around each of these vertices. Maybe I'll make it um, full instead of dash so that it's easier to delete. Okay, so now we just got to pick any minimum ed weight edge across uh, from one island to another, which is happens to be this zero one right here. And now we're merging the two islands together. So here we're going to have a two vertex island. And then now we got to find the minimum uh, weight edge from one island to another, which happens to be this one of weight one. So that means I'm going to select it. And then now we have a island with three edge with three vertices in it. So then now we got to pick any minimum weight edge going across from one 
island to another, which happens to be, oh, I didn't select this. Oh, so that one was a five. I, I forgot to put that one in. So that one's a five. So from one vertex to another, which happens to be this weight five edge. Oh, I don't know what happened to, what happened to that three? Oh yeah, yes. So this three right here, um, note that it's now has both of its endpoints within the island. So that means we'll never select it because we always will select an edge that goes from one island to another. So now we'll pick the edge five because it's the minimum weight edge that's going from one island to another, which is this one. So then now we'll expand our horizons, so to speak. And so now we'll have four vertices in there. And then now the minimum weight one is 11 that goes across the, um, from one island to another. And so now our subset of vertices is this monstrosity. And then now the minimum weight one going from one island to another happens to be this 14 edge. And therefore, once, we're, once we do that, now we have every vertex in here. And now there's only one island left, which means we have found our minimum spanning tree. So that's a proof of Kruskal's algorithm, purely because we're maintaining these islands, so to speak. And by doing so, each island will always have a tree within it. And then all that we need to do is to pick an edge that goes across from one, one island to another. And since each one of them is always a tree, at the end we'll always have a tree. It will be spanning because at the end we'll have one island because we're always reducing the number of islands by one. And it will be the minimum weight one because we will always pick the edge of minimum weight every time. So I hope that was interesting. Let me know if you like videos like this. If you found it a different way, please like the video to support the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please support me on Patreon if that's something you would like to do. And as always, I'll see you next time.